everyone, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to my channel. Um, that was really cheesy. Anyway, um, in this week's video I wanted to do a, another progress update and I wanted to go over I think some questions that I get asked a lot um, and things that might help another gal out when it comes to fitness. So I'm going to be talking about what headphones I like, um, my favourite resistance band, it's not sponsored, no sponsorship deals huns just yet, um, and also um, some of my tips and tricks for stretch marks um, just because you'll find that obviously when you lose weight you do tend to be more prone to those lovely things called stretch marks so um, I'm going to go through some tips and tricks with you so if you wanted to find out how I did this week with my weight loss how my body's looking and some of my little tips and tricks then keep watching oh dear so um, as always I've been running around like a headless chicken this morning um, but I've got my brew, I've got a nice cup of tea, I've been rushing around manically this morning doing stuff. Um, also, I had the worst night's sleep ever, so um, I woke up at 6 o'clock on a Saturday morning. And there, there's nothing worse when that happens, so I just, just got up, got my training in, got things done. Um, I've got my brew, um, I don't know if you can see this mug, it's a really cute mug. Um, and it's by a company called Rocks Jewelry Shop. Um, I'll just flag their Instagram brand name now for you. Um, and if you use the code, I think it's HAN15OFF, you'll get 15% off. Um, and yeah, they're a really nice company. They're based in Texas. Um, they do a lot of charity work and a lot of their products are centered around female empowerment um, and body positivity. And yeah, I love this kind of stuff. So I love things with a positive message. Um, I love, you know, crystals. If you've watched me for a bit on my Instagram as well, you'll know that I, I follow stuff like that. So yeah, it says enjoy the little things on it. I think I only ordered it like maybe Tuesday at the earliest this week and it arrived today in a nice box and it's a pretty sturdy mug. So yeah, I've got my brew. Obviously it's not going to make your tea like magical, but So, um, I wanted to go into my weight loss results from this week. So, um, this week has been a really good week um, in terms of getting better at my comfort eating. I'm not going to lie, like, I still have moments where I massively crave um, foods and I've gone slightly over my macros for the day. But um, I found it really useful to kind of work through my emotions, my anxiety, um, and rather than use food to try and cheer myself up, just kind of remind myself and be quite mindful um, and think that actually there's emotions that I'm feeling rather than I'm feeling hungry. What I'm really finding helping me is if I'm craving something, just literally going, am I actually hungry? Um, it sounds a really basic question, but 90% of the time I'm not actually hungry. Um, so I've been trying to read, um, I've been trying to like power through my comfort eating habits and I've lost a pound this week. So I'm eight stone seven, which I'm really happy with. Um, my like lean weight, I'm gonna call it, is eight stone five to eight stone six. So if I can lose another pound, if I gain a pound, I'm, I'm happy. Um, but as always, my, my shape and my body composition is what I'm focused on. So um, one thing that I wanted to go over this week is I've been working this week on building a booty again. Um, I, as always, um, so currently my training pattern, I'm training six times a week. I'm doing four Hannah Eden workouts a week and then I'm doing kind of two weight training sessions. What I've been loving um, at the moment, I've always been a fan of resistant bands for the booty, for the booty gains. Um, whenever I did leg days, I always used to do booty isolation exercises. Um, but I think I've, I started doing it. I don't know if I started doing it again on holiday or where it started happening again, but I've started throwing in some um, resistant band glute exercises, even when I'm not doing a leg day. So even if I'm doing one of my Hannah Eden workouts, her workouts are great because they're kind of boot camp style workouts that um, do a mixture of stuff. So upper body, lower body, fat burning, they're, they're brilliant. Um, but I've been doing a lot of resistant band work before. Um, I'm going to just see if I can find the name of the guy, but I think his name is Anthony James. I'll tag his Instagram in the, the down bar for you with like 
what I've discussed in this video but if I have a look I've basically got like all my little workouts saved on my iPhone um so yeah his name on Instagram is King Anthony Fitness I'll put him down below and I'll put a link in the bio for his Instagram he's got some great um quick videos with resistant bands exercises um and again this isn't sponsored but I've fallen in love with this resistant band again it's honestly my favorite resistant band just because it's like you really have to pull on it to try and get anything out of it really have to pull on it to try and get anything out of it. Um, but it's by a company called Modifit. They're based in Wales. Not sponsored. Um, I just ordered it on Amazon because I wanted, um, you know, a really tough CrossFit style resistant band. And I've been doing a lot of the Anthony James exercises, which have really worked. Um, also wanted to shout out another Instagrammer. She's lovely. Um... I, I've mentioned her on my stories before and she's commented on some of my photos as well which took me by surprise but um, if you want really good weight training workouts especially lower body um, I have been if I can find her her name is Kim French 87 um, I'll shout her out and I'll link her down below um, really inspiring she's British so I reckon for my British fitness lovers out there um, and yeah, I've been really enjoying her lower body workouts. I did, I'm looking at my little fitness diary again. Um, I did her, her, um, dumbbell glute workout on Monday and worked really well, especially if you use this kind of resistant band with it. Um, the other thing I've been doing again, if you've been watching me, when I do my training, so six times a week, one proper rest day doing literally nothing um i've been doing my pilates and when i first started losing weight especially when i had anxiety um i was really tired so i didn't really quite have like the physical energy especially because i'd never exercised before to do weight training so i first started out doing blogilates workouts again i'll link her below she's amazing um, I really like her workouts because she does these really short like 10 to 15 minute workouts some of them are like apartment friendly which is perfect in my spare room that I use as the gym um, and the one that I've been absolutely loving is her lower ab workouts so she's got this I'm going to link the video down below because it's honestly my favourite I've done it twice this week already um, she's done I think it's about seven five to seven exercises over ten minutes for your um, what you're going to call your your belly pooch um, for me that is my problem area so obviously us girls are naturally going to have like a bit of fat on our like where our baby baby making systems are um, but I've been loving that workout for that area um obviously i'm trying to like watch what i'm eating and just walking more and doing all my other workouts but that is a fantastic lower belly lower ab workout i'd highly recommend it um and yeah so i've lost a pound this week i'm not really focusing on the scales i'm mainly going by my shape and my body i've had my cheat meals this week i've had my chippy my fish and chips i'm such a typical standard brit with my cup of tea and my fish and chips but chippy is like my favorite cheat meal so i've had that um i had enchiladas at one point this week as well but um yeah i'm macro tracking i'm not going too mad i'm not too harsh on myself if i go over or under because i've also been trying to work through my anxiety and getting my confidence back so yeah um other little topic i wanted to talk about before i show you what my body's looking like currently um i think this might help some girls out is about stretch marks so realistically nothing is going to get rid of stretch marks um you may be genetically blessed but I found that when I lost like three stone, that was when I particularly sort of noticed stretch marks on my like inner thighs, my bum, the side of my waist, um, and also on the back of my legs really randomly. And I, I tend to get it like on my quads and on my hamstrings. Um, some little tips that I find is, I think I remember this is a really random story, but when I was younger, I used to love reading, like, those, like, celebrity magazines, and Fergie, you know, the singer Fergie, like, Fergalicious, that one, she said that, because she's got, she seems to have really good skin, I'm really obsessed with, like, celebrities, you've got really, like, 
amazing like soft looking skin um so she always said and i remember reading this when i was younger and thinking yeah i'm gonna do this to moisturize every day head to toe um so whenever i have a shower regardless of if it's like my second shower of the day first shower of the day bath whatever it is i always moisturize um and i think that's a really good way to although you're not going to get rid of the stretch marks um i do i do find like me personally it helps me stay looking nice and youthful as well because i'm 26 now and i want to keep that skin looking flawless um so i've been using e45 um i get really bad eczema and really sensitive skin so um i've been using it on my face i used it on my face last night and it feels really like soft and moist because in this weather like my eczema is 10 times worse um but yeah i'd highly recommend moisturizing whenever you come out of the shower um try and drink as much water as possible so i've got one of the i don't know if I've, i haven't got it to hand but i've got one of those water bottles that tells you how much you're drinking I drink two of them during the day and i have a load of water um when i get in and on a weekend um and yeah just try not to worry about them we're gonna get them if you haven't got them you are massively lucky i want your jeans um but yeah i just find that moisturizing and all that shiz does really help um so yeah what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna show you what my body's currently looking like and then i'll come back with some final thoughts so i'm back and this is how i'm looking this week and um, yeah i'm gonna shut up and do the slow-mo for you <laughs> how my body's looking currently um i'm really happy with how my shape is coming on um i'm looking forward to getting like it's almost christmas party season which i know i hate you and thinking that christmas is coming round, but um yeah that's kind of my next goal point is so i can look bang in in my like christmas party work dress um no, my work Christmas party, not my Christmas party work dresses. If I'm working at a Christmas party, I wish I was. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I've got my eye on at the moment. It's just looking banging, looking brilliant, beautiful, looking young, looking hot, looking fresh. Um, and yeah, um, just enjoying life, battling my anxiety, everything that's thrown my way with a bit of love and positivity because that's all we need um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this week's body progress update if you've got any questions or you want me to discuss anything in these videos then please um you can always comment me on at chronicles of hannah which is my instagram handle i'll put it below for you um and yeah i'll see you all next week bye guys